Oh, yeah. Looks like Kevin Ball might be getting a little nudge from Boyd Anderson. As they turn across the line, he's got a line of his own, and it says get to the front in a hurry, and he does. Tommy Shea is able to walk him out of his way into the lead, getting some opposition from the three of both. Then it's Anderson, and uh, he is surrounded on the outside by Corey Fanning, one of the youngest drivers in the division, and his he has really come into his own. It's 2012. And then it's the 33 car of Dr. Evil, Mike Caprio running next. Best battle, third and fourth. Anderson on the bottom as he tries to help the scalper his way underneath Fanning. But look at Fanning as he enters turn number three. He has about three quarters of a car length advantage, but he gets sideways coming off the curve. That back end is almost on top of the curve at him. So you saw the rear end of the 11 car and almost swung around. And when it did, Anderson was able to take firm control of third. And gentlemen, Jay Shakolis was able to move up. And he is Seven. trying to bury himself yeah. on the bottom of Corey Fanning. That is the fight for fourth and He's fifth. coming up fast. At the front, it's Tommy Shea. Oh. He took the lead on the opening round. He's advantage with Kevin Bowles in second. And Boyd Anderson in third. And then the fun begins because Scott Sundin is moving up. Scott uh -oh. Sundin has more wins than anybody else in the division. I don't want more behind points him. than anyone else. Him. And right now he is fighting for fifth against Corey Fanning. So Fanning starting to backpedal with that number 11 car. So Boyd Anderson, second is becoming hotly contested as Anderson trying to scope on his way underneath the second car. It is both in the number two position and it's all seven over coming. Like so oh, yeah. It's coming hard. That is the 23 Anderson. Off the corner they call. And it's Kevin Ball being taken the stripper hold on oh, second yeah. place. He's going to get this way to get a three-way battle. So now we are having some fun for the handle for a second. Oh, he has the rest of it right now on the bottom. But he is buried by the three of Ball and right seven yeah, of Chicolas. Right. They go into turn number three. Things do not lessen up in the excitement department. It is still Anderson. He is in the triple across the line. He's right in there. And he keeps that in there. A healthy lead is owned by Tommy yeah, Shea as he is yeah, out of the front. Over yeah, Boyd Anderson, he got the way way. Way. He he got things tired. start to intensify from third and fourth. Here comes Jay Chagolis as he tries to Tasmania uh -oh. Devil. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. He takes Chagolis into the grass. Chagolis a deep floor uh -oh. and the giant air gun breaks his feet. He loses about three positions, but no harvest of him. And those two cars got padlocked together. The, other guy the loser in that yeah. battle was Jim Chicolas. And the man who benefited from Mike Cameron, he gets a shot he is able him to scoot all the way to fourth. We are putting the finishing touches on this one. Yeah, you won't have and it's time. an impressive win for Tommy Chin in car number 45, followed by Roy Anderson. Then it's Bowles beating on Cameron over Chicolas. And 